Hello and welcome, this is Double Law and this is Not So Live. This is episode 5 and today I'm going to take you back to 1990 and the film I will be talking about today was based on the 1985 book Wise Guy. It starred Robert De Niro, Ray Liotta, Joe Pesci, Paul Savino and Lorraine Baracco and the film is Goodfellas directed by Martin Scorsese and it was released on September the 19th 1990 it was given a 25 million dollar budget and box office it received 47 Point one million. Now, I really do like the film Goodfellas. It is a brilliant gangster film and it is based on the life of Henry Hill, which makes it more interesting and uh, makes the story more, uh, you know, enjoyable to watch, knowing that it's on real life events and things that had happened. I've seen the film quite a few times. It is rather a long film, and uh, but the storyline does keep you uh, captivated. I found a few facts on the film. Um, at the start of the film, uh, a young Henry Hill uh, goes for a job at, at the cab stand across the street. This really did happen. Um... He also did meet Robert De Niro's character, Jimmy the Gent, at a card game, and he did serve him drinks and sandwiches. Um, he also did set fire to a rival cab stand, which is also shown in the film. The one thing that was different in the film was when Henry first gets arrested, he was selling cigarettes, but in real life, he'd uh, actually brought some snow tyres using a stolen credit card. And uh, Also, the film does not mention or show that in 1960, a 17-year-old Henry Hill joined the army and served three years. Also, a scene um, Joe Pesci found hard was where his character kills the kid spider for talking back and he had trouble justifying it and he had to force himself to feel the same way that Tommy would have felt. Also, doing a bit of reading, the scene I've just shown um, actually happened to Joe Pesci in real life. It was a real life experience uh, and it happened when he was working as a waiter and he thought he was making a compliment to some mobsters and it didn't go down well. One of my favourite scenes in the film is the mailman scene where Henry Hill gets a beating from his dad for skipping school and then goes and tells the gangsters that he can't no longer do jobs for him. So they end up taking him to the mail office and waiting for his mailman to come out. They then bungle him in the back of the car and for him to stick his head in the peach oven if another letter goes to the kid's house. I, uh, I found it quite funny, uh, the amount of power that this kid had was quite unbelievable. 
And the fact that his mother even had to write to the mail office and ex- ask for an explanation as to why they was receiving no letters after this had happened made it more funnier. One thing as well I will say for the film, it does start off quite light-hearted, but then as you get further and further on into the film, you do start to feel it gets more darker and more darker and more deeper, which is quite good in a way, that you actually feel like that the further on the film gets, the more the character becomes in, indebted to the life of a gangster and to the point where that there's nowhere else to go and um, what happens happens really uh, not trying to spoil the film because if you've not watched it it is well worth a watch and I highly do I highly recommend it as a uh, one of the best gangster films to watch. That's just my personal opinion. I also know that uh, there's a few others. I mean, you've got Godfather, which is also another great film. But my favourite is Goodfellas, I must say. Another scene that I do like is where the voiceover is talking about Robert De Niro's character and how the police sent an army to try and stop him and he made them partners and in the scene you see police pull up as he's unloading cigarettes from the back of a lorry and he passes him a pack or two and slips a few notes into the box and the police officers tell him to have a good day and then they go about the business I find that quite interesting um, just the the freedom of it and just how money can talk and also how powerful this man was and just how feared he was really i have to admit the film is littered and packed full of great scenes there is just so much going on throughout the entirety of the film and it's just like wow i mean every time i watch the film all the way through um i always find something new um which i find quite good because sometimes you can watch a film once and then you don't feel the need to watch it again whereas with this i feel like you could watch it quite a few times and every time you watch the film you would always pick on some up pick on pick up on something I should say uh, that you didn't pick up on before and uh, just you know really find it like I don't know how to explain it because it is fun to watch but then also it is quite serious as well um, and what went on and in some cases it's quite tragic to what happened to the people that was involved not like the actual gangsters but like the families of these people um but yeah i do highly recommend the film i also think it would have been interesting to do a film that depicted henry hill's life after he went into the witness protection agency and to see where and what went on after that always living with that fear that you know someone's coming after you and having to live with always in the back of your head and that to me does sound quite interesting and I think maybe it might happen who knows um, but it's, it's one of them, I mean, because the film is a classic, would it ruin it? Sometimes a sequel to a great movie is not always that great. Um, and you'd have to have, obviously have the right cast also playing the the parts. Unfortunately, um, Ray Loyota 
passed away, so he would no longer be able to betray Henry Hill, uh, which is sad, unfortunately. Yeah, I think he did a great job. And that is the end of episode 5. I hope everyone enjoyed. And if you do get a chance to watch the film, I do highly recommend it if you've got a spare couple of hours. It is a brilliant movie. And it is probably in my top five of greatest films. I hope everyone has a great weekend. And I will be back again soon with another video.